Hello YouTube, it is Raphael here from XX Raphael Productions and this is the first Florence and the Machine review that I will be doing on this channel and what we have here is their second album, Ceremonials. It was released in 2011, but if you want to be more specific, it is October 28, 2011 when this was released. So, um, the Ceremonial album consists of 12 tracks, but if you have Spotify, and I'm in the US as I um, search it up, but it usually shows a deluxe version first, and it adds about 4 extra tracks when I checked. So either way really, whether you have the regular or the deluxe version, this review will still apply and ring true, because I will still be mentioning the best tracks and my overall thoughts on this album. So Florence has been out for a while now, but I got introduced to this band by one of my best friends, and as such, I decided to give two albums from this band a listen. The first one I listened to was Ceremonials, which is this one, and Lungs, which is their very first album. Now, granted, I haven't yet done a Lungs album, but I've decided to save that for a future video. And so let's go ahead and talk about Florence's second album, Ceremonials, and if this album is worth a listen. Now, in my personal opinion, this is a fascinating record that has definitely stuck with me after the first time I listened to it. I do remember hearing the particular song Shake It Out a while back, which I can't remem remember exactly where I heard it, but I do remember I had heard it before, and I know that I thought that it was a pretty cool song, but I had no idea, but I had no idea yet at the time that it was with Florence and the Machine, so when I first heard it, it was Deja Vu, like, I'm like, ooh, yeah, this song is familiar. So, when I heard it during my album binge, I decided that um, it also hooked me enough to continue listening to the rest of the album, which turned out to be a great decision, because I loved it personally. So, throughout the album, you can hear the lead singer, Florence Welsh, uh, showcase her extremely powerful and talented vocals, which sound angelic at times, and I definitely recommend listening with high quality headphones or speakers to fully appreciate the point that I'm trying to convey to you. So not only are the vocals great, but the instrumentation is also rich and done very well, which I state that it can be credited to the numerous people that collaborated on this record. I definitely enjoy this album more than their first album Lungs, which I am not, okay, let me say something, I am not saying that Lungs was terrible or anything because that album is certainly good, but I also would like to point out that perhaps my opinion on Ceremonials being better is maybe my mood was better that day and it influenced my opinions, but I don't think that's the case because prior to making this video, as I was doing my homework, I listened to both today and I realized that my opinion stayed the same, so that was actually the reason why I decided to review Ceremonials first before I review Lungs in a future video. Another good um, point about Ceremonials, which I will compare again to their previous album, Lungs, is that the tone and delivery of each song were uh, much more consistent, for lack of a better word. But that's not to say that Lungs had any flaws in this regard, because Certainly not, but compared to Ceremonials, there were some songs that felt, I guess, out of place at times, but, like, an example I could give, the best one I can give is, like, some transitions between some songs, which, in my opinion, is not the case in Ceremonials, in that Ceremonials um, flowed together nearly flawlessly, and um, in terms of the actual production, I had no issues with it, but I know some people may disagree with that because I've seen some comments in another video, people are saying it was overproduced or whatever, but of course that's perfectly fine to say you have your opinion and I have mine, so I will state in this video that I personally had no problems with the production. So now let's go on to the actual tracks themselves because I, I want to clarify that there are no... um. There are actually no terrible songs on this record, and I was trying to, well prior to making this video, I was thinking to myself and trying to list down if there were any weak points in Ceremonials that I want to list down, but then I decided that there was nothing, so I decided to go ahead and go instead to all the positives, but it was too hard to choose, so 
to top it off, I decided to just say that some songs here are better than the, than the others, which I will listen a few seconds and you might have a part. Uh, sorry, you might have a particular song in mind from this record that I may not have mentioned. But just because I didn't mention them, that doesn't mean that I did not like it. But more like it was hard to choose due to this entire album being great. So that is basically a testament to the quality of this album. Like that should show how great this album is. If it's even me, I'm usually good at picking the best and worst songs. So if I'm having a hard time picking the least favorites, then that should be a good sign that this album is very consistent in quality. So anyway, so now onto the top five songs that I have picked as the best ones, and the ones that I really recommend listening to in no particular order. I have chosen "Shake It Out," "What the Water Gave Me," "All of This in Heaven to "Spectrum," and "Only If for a Night." Now, once again, these are my top five tracks that stood out to me the most, but. As I said earlier, for reassurance, none of these songs in these albums are terrible. So it's not like I'm like I am definitely not trying to dog on any of these songs just because I didn't mention them. So I'm just hoping to get the disclaimer out. If you like some songs that I did not mention yet, comment down below. But anyway, those are the top five songs that I love the most in this album. And as for the lead singer's voice herself, Florence's voice throughout the album. Is very mesmerizing to listen to. Some of these songs themselves certainly remind me of the band U2. It's another band that I listened to a while back, and even Evanescence, which is another um, band with a female singer. And it's a good thing because it became easier for me to appreciate Florence and the Machine because of the similarities between the two bands that I also like. And the production of this album also adds an extra like tick or the wow factor to accompany Florence's already impressive singing, as well as making the album even more compelling to listen to. So like I'm glad that I was able to listen to U2 and Evanescence before listening to and reviewing this album because, to be honest, if I heard this album first without hearing those other two bands. I am not sure if I will be able to fully appreciate that album or do it justice on this review, so I hadn't really undergone that musical journey yet because at that time my music taste has evolved a lot throughout the last few months and even the last few years actually. So I'm glad that I was able to hear those bands before listening to this album, as I can now feel the music more and appreciate its beauty as well. So. Florence and the Machine's second album, Ceremonials, was certainly a step in the right direction. Whereas Longs, the best way I could describe it is that it feels like an exploration in sounds, full of experimentation, but still ended up a great album. But Ceremonials is basically that, but taken to the next level. It is tightly focused on an ethereal style. It fits、um, Welch's voice very well. Like Florence sounds passionate, professional. Spiritual and very inspired, and sometimes the best part of all this is that it's all in one song sometimes, and compassed perfectly. Now we're gonna go ahead and wrap up this review. So, this is definitely a recommended album in my opinion. And as for my final rating, I am giving it a 10 out of 10. Feel free to comment down below what you personally thought of the album and whether you agree with me or not. As always, my Skype is on screen right now. If you wish to contact me, and、I'll, again, like I promised before, I will review Longs in a later video. But、um, that can come either sooner or later, depending on my schedules. But I will try to get that as well in. So I am very, very glad that I was able to review this because it's definitely a great album, and I was hoping to make sure that people. I'm trying to make sure that pe I convince people to try and give this album a listen at least once. So, this is Raphael from XX Raphael Productions signing off, and this is Florence and the Machines Ceremonials review. Thank you very much for listening to my review, and I will see you guys in my next video. Peace out.